right, this is section two, using layers to add a background and a gradient. And before we start doing anything, I'm going to explain a, a key that's really useful, and that's Control Z, which undoes your mistakes. So for example, if you have the Move tool selected and you accidentally move your picture, you can always hit Control Z and it'll undo whatever the last thing you did. Um, so if you make multiple mistakes, you can just hit Control Z multiple times and it'll erase your mistake. And before we start working with different layers, I'm going to change the title for this layer in the Layers window. So right now it's called Background. I'm going to double click it and just retitle it Barn, hit Enter. And that's because we're going to be adding in another background, so I don't want two layers called background. Alright, so the next step is going to be um, adding in another layer for our background. Notice that I did move the barn to the bottom because I think it's easy to add some sky to the top. If your picture is different, you might want to move it to the middle or maybe to the top um, and add in the background from there. It really just depends on your picture. But right now we're going to go to Layer, New Layer. I'm going to call this Background. If it's not already typed in, type it in. And we want this one to be white so it's easy to see and then hit OK. Now notice what this does is our background is actually covering our initial picture and if you look over in the layers window that's because the background is on top of the barn. So what you want to do is move it down either by clicking and dragging it which will work if, if you're not taping like I am or by using the little green arrows down here to just move it down. And once you move it down notice that the barn is on top so it shows on top of the background which is what we want. All right. The next thing we're going to do is learn about the color picker tool. For my background, I think I'm going to want to have a nice orange, just like in the sky here. So I'm going to use the color picker to get the exact color I want. Um, you can pick colors using uh, just clicking on the foreground color right here, and it'll pop up a color selector. So if you want you know, turquoise or purple or whatever, you just pick whatever color you want. Nice little lavender. Um, but for right now what I'm going to do is use the color picker and what that's going to let me do is pick a color from the actual image so it's a perfect orange. Um, Alright, so notice when I start to pick a color it pulls up a color here in my foreground color window and it's white because I have the background layer selected. Now this is the biggest issue I see with people that are using GIMP is they have the wrong layer selected and so they try to make changes and it doesn't make any changes because they have the wrong layer selected. So I'm picking colors from my barn layer so I want to make sure that's selected and then I can pick a nice orange and it'll pop up in the foreground color here. All right and now what we can do is fill in the background with yet another tool from the toolbox. My goodness we are learning all of these tools and that is the bucket fill tool down here. So again, if I click on that, I should be able to click anywhere and fill in with this nice orange color. But if I try to do it now, it's not going to work because I have the wrong layer selected. I have the barn layer selected and I need the background layer selected. And so now when I click, it's going to fill it in with this nice orange. All right. And so that's going to be it for adding in a background layer. Um, we can also add in a gradient. Notice that here we have this kind of hard line and you know that might not be a problem for some people but I'm a perfectionist and kind of irritates me. So what I'm going to do now is add in a gradient layer to make it kind of mesh well. So we're going to go again to layer, new layer. I'm going to call it gradient. And this time I'm not going to select white, I'm going to select transparency and we'll see why in a second. Okay, so we have the gradient layer and I actually want it to be on top of everything. So you're going to select it, either click and drag or use the arrows to move it to the very, very top. And I still want it to be this orange because I'm going to make the gradient an orange down to the orange sky down here. So what we're going to do now is use the gradient tool. This is kind of fancy pants so if you don't want to use it you can feel free to skip on ahead to the next section if you think this looks just fine the way it is. Alright so we're going to use the it's called the blend tool I always call it the gradient tool um, but what you'll want to do is go over here and make sure that what's selected is foreground to transparent and I'm going to show you how the gradient tool works using a color that's different than orange just so that you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm going to change it to white by just switching these. So with the gradient tool, 
we're going to start by clicking somewhere and then dragging down and letting go. And you see what it does is it starts with white on top and then it eventually fades out to transparent. And you can do it uh, diagonally, for example. It'll start white in the corner and then fade to transparent. And if you don't like this at all, you can always use Control Z to undo what you've done. So I'm going to Control Z, Control Z, and get rid of that. But that's what the gradient layer does, and you can you can play around with the gradient tool to, to see how you like it. Right now, though, what I'm going to do is use the orange foreground and use a gradient tool to blend it down into the sky. Um, and you don't need to start from up top, you can start from further down. And it, notice if you go too far, like if it covers too much, you can always do Control Z and get rid of it again. And I'm going to do it a few times just to get rid of that little line that you can see right there. I hate lines. All right, and then from the side maybe, a little from the side over here, maybe another one. There we go. So now we have a nice blended sky going from the bottom to the top. And if you want to see kind of how it looks with or without the gradient, you can click on the little eye button. And what that does is makes the layer visible or invisible. So if there's no eye, it's invisible. You can't see it. And then with the eye, oh, this beautiful, nice little gradient from one to the other. And that's it for putting in a background layer and a gradient layer. Um, the next step we're going to do is add in our text for our title and our name, and then we'll be done.